Hi ladies! Just wanted to do a quick screencast video to show you how to set up a Facebook event from your fan page because I know there have been some questions of how do I set it up and then <clears throat> how do I invite my friends. So you'll see I'm on our iBloom fan page so you'll want to go to your iBloom or to your fan page obviously not to iBloom to yours and if you click over here on these little dots then oh whoops not there click on more down here and you'll click on events so more and then events and it will bring up any events that you've done in the past and so you'll just click on create event and you'll fill in this information so the name of the event also just so you know <clears throat> whatever name you put here is going to show up um, on the cover photo at the top. I'll show you an example of that in a moment. You'll put in your details here. Remember, on an event page, only a little bit shows up before they have to click see more. So you want your most important information in the first two, three, maybe four lines, including a link of where they're going to go to sign up. Um, where it's going to be, if it's an online event, you can put that here. If it's a physical location, you can put that. Tickets, um, if you want to add a link for guests to get tickets, so that would be the registration page, you can do that. Then when the event is and the category that you want to put it in, if that applies, or you can just leave it on none. And then you'll hit create. Okay, I'm going to close this because I'm just going to show you from one that's already created. So this is Jen's. And once you're in the event, you have it set up, it'll take you to a page just like this. You'll want to add an event photo up here at the top, so just click that. Um, but right here, this is the title of her training, and so you'll see it shows up actually on this page. So you want to make sure as you're having somebody create your cover photo for this that you use that. I will say if you're doing a lot of events, I would recommend just doing a generic cover photo for events. Um, like we have one with our eye bloom flowers. It's pretty generic that we load in here. Um, we've just recently started doing that because it's expensive to have these cover photos created because they are so time consuming to put together um, for the graphic artist because of the way it has to lay out and then the way it shows up in the event um, listing. So I recommend just a generic cover photo with your brand and then put the title of the class or whatever the event is there. So this is an old event. This is what I'm talking about. You want to put your most important details here because otherwise they have to click see more to see the rest of the content. So the first few lines, be sure that you put, you know, the information there. All right. So let's talk about inviting your friends because I want to show you a fun little trick. So if you go to, let me find here invite friends so this is where you click on the three little dots so you do invite friends and the instructions that I'm going to give you are for Firefox so if you're using something other than Firefox then I'll give you the link to this page where it has the instructions that you'll follow for it but I'm going to show you how to invite lots of friends at one time so one of the things is you don't want to invite all of your Facebook friends and these are your personal friends because um, they're not going to all be interested in your event. So what I like to do is go through and different groups that I'm a part of make sure those people are invited. So a lot of ours are business events. So I would go to the Equipping Christian Women in Business group and it's going to pull up everybody I'm friends with that's a part of that group. So you would scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list. All the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to do control shift K and it will bring up this little box and I'm going to give you this code, but you're just going to paste the code in here. So control V to paste the code and then you click enter and it takes just a few minutes depending on the number of people on the list or number of friends, but see what happens. It automatically checked all of the names so that you don't have to do that. So then all you have to do is then hit send. And so what I do is I go through my different lists. So I do this, I hit send. You know, if I hit send for this, then I would go back. I'd look for another group, but make sure you hit send first. 
Um, so my boot camp, you know, this upcoming class is perfect for them. And you'll see they were already on the other list, so it's going to invite them. Um, if it was, like, this is my neighborhood group. Nobody here is going to be applicable. Well, Vicki is. But, you know, if I was inviting everybody and it was applicable, then I would do that here. And again, it's Control-Shift-K. I'll give you the link and you'll just paste it in there and it will automatically check mark everybody, which is very cool. Or it will uncheck them if you already did it. So that's why you would want to hit send to now and then go in and find other groups. So you don't want to do this option for your entire friend list because again, not everyone is going to be interested in your particular training. Okay, one other thing I want to mention. Up here, it'll say you're posting, commenting, and liking as Kelly Thorne Gore. Change to iBloom. If you're on your fan page, so let's say I'm commenting as iBloom, and I do invite friends, it's still going to bring up my list. It used to not bring up my list, and I had to switch back and forth. So either way, whether you're logged in as your fan page or yourself, you will be able to invite friends here. So make sure you set up your event on your fan page and then you invite your friends over to the fan page. Key aspect, don't set up an event on your personal page for your business because you'll run into all kinds of logistics, but do it on this fan page. Another thing to remember, whenever you leave comments, which you definitely want to do after you've started inviting people, you know, every couple of days you want to you know, leave some different comments here to remind people. So like, here's an example. Um, it's a fabulous Friday. We're spreading a little joy and a deal. We extended when people could get that checklist. So whenever you post something in this event page, then it goes out to everybody's notifications who are going, who are maybe going, or who haven't yet responded yet. So that's a great way if they maybe miss that first invitation for them to see it in other places. Um, so great strategy for you to use as well. Okay, hopefully that answers your questions. If you have others, let me know.